All right, how's everyone doing? I'm Mike McMacken. I teach U.S. and Virginia history as well as dual Roman Western civilization over at Fort Defiance High School. Um, Terry asked me to do a presentation at our scheduled county in service and uh, about the flipped classroom, and I thought I would take the opportunity to introduce the flip by flipping the presentation. All right, flipping is what I've done in my U.S. and Virginia advanced classes last year, what I intend to do in all of my U.S. history classes this year, so I thought I'd give a brief <clears throat> demo and brief description of what flipping is in this video so that when we meet at the in-service, if anybody has any questions or interests in the flip at all, I can answer your questions there and uh, maybe take this a little further. So essentially, this is the flip. <clears throat> all right, I take my direct instruction out of the classroom and load it online in videos. Okay, I um, also provide students with PowerPoints and handouts and things like that that reinforce this. All right, um, all the stuff I used to use previously in class. So um, this then allows me to use my class time on more student-centered work. All right, changing the focus of the class from me, the teacher, to the students where it belongs. Okay, so why I flip is um, with such a focus on standards and SOLs, I found myself to be in front of the classroom more and more delivering direct instruction, lecturing, spitting content at my students, hoping something sticks. My class has become increasingly teacher-focused at the expense of active student involvement. This bothers me because I strongly believe that students should be actively engaged participants um, in the education process for real learning and, and understanding to take place. And the student activities, unfortunately, are sacrificed more and more to meet the needs of SOLs. So this is, that's why I flipped my class. All right. Something to keep in mind with the flip, there is no rule book. Um, you can put as much or as little online as you want, and you really don't even have to in today's world go out and create a whole bunch of your own resources. You can curate, all right? You can collect relevant media and, uh, and videos and other resources from other places, like um, Hip Hughes is a guy that puts, he's got 200 and some videos online, a crash course in history. All right, um, so with that, um, the basic idea of the end of flipping is that direct instruction is loaded online um, in various formats, and the students watch these presentations as their homework instead of doing the usual book work, okay? Um, presenting the lectures online allows the focus of the class to shift away from the teacher towards the students, all right? Students then use class time for other activities, projects, both individual and group, that engage them and focus on inquiry-based learning, critical thinking, okay? And I've given you a link, I think, to some of the student-created work, which I hope to really improve on this year. Last year was a big learning experience for both me and my students. All right. Putting the material online um, allows the teacher to focus more on differentiation or remediation and reinforcement. Um, it makes the teacher much more available during the class time for students who need a bit of extra help. Um, the content is also loaded permanently online, so it's there for review and remediation even at home. Kids can work through online content at their own pace. I found my students take much, much better work um, notes at home than they did in the classroom. All right. Um, and um, students who are absent, this is a big one, never fall behind. If I have quizzes scheduled on the board, when the kid comes back to class, they're responsible for that quiz because they didn't miss any lecture time. All right? So some of the things I had hoped to see that I did see that I hope to continue to see because of the flip in my classroom, um, more students engaged um, and challenged, um, an expansion of understanding, um, more effective differentiation on my part, um, students taking responsibility for their own learning, um, more time for effective remediation. I mean, these are things that I have seen and I hope to continue to see. Um, and these are some of the tools that I use over here uh, on that whiteboard for the flip. And I'll be happy to answer any questions and discuss the technology I use in the classroom when we get there if anybody has any interest in doing this. Okay, so um, that's it. See everybody Thursday.